Welcome back to Zoom TV and this week's Celebrity Hitchhiker. Normally, I'd be inside the Zoom mobile, but I'm not. It didn't make the trip. So we're catching up with this week's celebrity at his favourite coffee haunt. Mr Brody Young from The Price is Right. And I can't wait to hear Aaron Pitt. Come on down. Brody, how are you? I'm um, well, we're just tucking into my little uh, soy latte there. Mate, you've got me a beautiful coffee, I appreciate that. Now, normally this would be inside the Zoomobile, but it, we've left it in Perth. Yep. Doesn't want to travel out of WA yet, it's unlicensed in every other state, so thank Brooklyn. you for bringing me to your favourite coffee shop. What a great space to actually do the celebrity coffee hitchhiker. Yeah, it's a good little spot here. Uh, the spare room in Hampton, good coffee, good company, and today, for Melbourne, it's not a bad day. It's not a bad day, we're really, really lucky. Now, for people that don't know what you do, Mr Brody Young, Give him a demo. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, here we are at the spare room. I'm with Aaron. Come on down. Welcome to The Price is Right, also on Channel 7. Uh, same time slot as you guys, too. It is. So oh, if you're actually watching this, then you're obviously not watching Brody. True. So like two people on at the same time. Maybe there's two of me. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. I want to talk about how you started. How did oh, you get dear. Uh, my introduction was through Big Brother way back in the day, over a decade ago now, actually. Uh, it was a fun introduction to the industry. I knew nothing about it. You jump in the deep end and you either sink or swim. And luckily I sort of swam and um, found my feet and uh, really enjoy what I'm doing now. It was a fun industry to be involved in. I mean, you get to see a lot of Australia, you get to meet lots of people, get involved with lots of different charity groups and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was, ironically, still at uni back in the day, studying engineering and industrial design, but kind of put that on the back burner because this industry is just a little more fun. Ended up doing a, a late night game show called Quizmania. Um, did a uh, music show on uh, SBS called Noise TV. That was a lot of fun. And, uh, you just new projects come up, you put your hand up and get involved. And this one, at yeah, the price is right by far, is uh, my most fun one yet. I'm going to ask a question that everyone at home wants to know. Yep. Has there ever, ever been you're up there and there's a mistake? You know, right at the bit where the, the right at the end of the showcase and something goes wrong, a technical fault. Come on, let us in. Oh, us absolutely. In. I mean, I've got my whole script up there and you've got to stick to that pretty much verbatim. And every time I sort of, you might see something out of the corner of your eye and you want to react to it, but you've got to sort of have to stick to your guns. Um, pronunciation, putting the right emphasis on the right syllable is uh, very important too. Um, good old Royal Salangor, the nice glassware, not Royal Salanger, as I said, <laughs> I think the first show. Now, mate, this is the Asanda Fast Five, the hard point. Dim the lights, <laughs> lower the voice, get the tension mood. Welcome to the Asanda Fast Five. Okay, so the first question, what was your first car? I bought it off my dad, it was a 1982 Ford Meteor Gear. Nice. The Lewis seats, um, an aerial that you pulled up out of the <laughs> A-pillar, it was a ripper machine. Okay, next question would be, what is your opinion of the best car on the road and why? I love the Audi RS5. An absolute rocket ship, what, 400 kilowatts, built in this two-door beastie kind of thing. But still, it's, you know, it's a bit like a Brighton car. It's a bit of a cruiser, you know, the, the, the mum could drop the kids off to the school in it and stuff. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made and why? But the worst car on the road, in my opinion, is a Camry. Camry? And I think go. it's got more to do with the drivers of the Camry <laughs> than, like, back in the day when I was younger, I was a teenager, you'd pick on Volvo drivers and go, oh, God, there's a Volvo driver. Don't get stuck behind them. Nowadays, I reckon it's Camry drivers. I don't know if it's a Melbourne thing or what it is. Now, what car do you currently drive? As of yesterday, I drove an Audi A4. There you go. Yeah, and um, just sold it. So I'm an official celebrity hitchhiker now. And the last question, this yeah. is the deep question, what's your greatest fear and why? Ooh, greatest fear, well, current job, being a voiceover guy, greatest fear would be to, and I'm shoplifting this answer, Losing my voice. Subtitles. We can always put subtitles nice. up with it. Brody, thank you very, very much for being on the show. I really pleasure. appreciate it. You're busy. Price is right. Everything is going crazy. All good. Now, sometimes with professionals like yourself, I like to get you to help me close the show. Sure. Okay, so uh, I want you to say goodbye to people. Give it a go. You've been watching Zoom TV, brought to you by Asanda Finance. Tune in next week where we give away a new car. No, Not just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> for more details, go to www.zoomtv.com.au.